Hello everyone and welcome to this lecture about how to generate choice data products from UAV aerial images in RGSoft Metashape or converting UAV pictures into a variety of data including 3D point cloud, 3D mesh generation, aerial automosaic, digital elevation model DOMS and more. So here, let me show you input required. These photos are UAV images with geotag information. And this CSV file contains GCP coordinate or ground control point coordinate. So we will also need map projection information and GIS software like ArcGIS, QGIS to view and visualize your data. So now let's open ArcGSoft Metashape. So we will see first how to add and align photos. So to add photos to ArcGSoft, so go to workflow and click on add photos. Then navigate to the folder where you put your images. Open it. Then hit Ctrl plus, plus I to select all photos and click on open. So click on workspace to expand to chunk one and to view photos that you've been added to RGSoft. So now go to reference. So click on reference button to inspect information of images. So here you have the coordinate, altitude are shown here for each photos. The additional columns related to the accuracy of the model. So now aligning photos. So to align photos, so go to workflow and click on align photos. Then set accuracy to high and check the boxes for both generic pre-selection and reference pre-selection. So and click on OK. Wait till the process finishes. Once the process finishes a sparse point cloud will appear in the model pane. So you should verify that the sparse point cloud is within the region. If not, you need to resize the region. So to resize region, so go to this button and click on resize region. Then click on the corner and drag it out to include the sparse point in into the region. Then click on this navigation button to unselect resize region. So now let's start GCP measurement process. So before loading GCP point, we should convert coordinate of images. So here, so let me open GCP file. And here, 
My GCP coordinate system is UTM zone 13 north. So, so click on convert tool and enter reference tab. So the coordinate system is shown in this but because I worked that uh, on this before so if not so click on more and click on the projected coordinate system then you search and find the GCP coordinate system so once you find the appropriate GCP coordinate system so you select it and click on OK so now you we can load GCP file so to import GCP file so click on import reference So select GCP file and click on open. So open it. So select the appropriate coordinate system and verify And verify these columns are properly listed in these text boxes and click on OK then click on click on yes to all so now let's start measuring your GCP so go to reference tab then select the GCP point so right click and select filter photos by markers this will open appropriate photos contain this marker so go to photos tab and double click on the photo so scroll to zoom to the marker location so drag the marker into the GCP location so here once you put the marker on the GCP location so double click to accept it or to confirm the location so you repeat the process for the next photo so then you move to the next GCP marker so you repeat the same process for all photos After measuring all GCP point, we optimize the camera location based on GCP points. So go to the setting or reference setting and provide 
the capture distance, which refer to the fly altitude. Then go to optimize camera alignment. So by checking these boxes. After finishing, so click on OK and you don't forget to save your project. So click on save. Once the aerial triangulation processed, now your project is ready to bold dance point cloud. So to bold dance point cloud, so go to workflow and click on bold dance cloud. For quality, select high and click on advanced to expand it and check calculate point colors. Then hit OK button. Wait till the process finishes. Once it finishes, the dance cloud has been added in the workspace. So click on workspace and expand the chunk one and double click on dance cloud. Next stage is to bold DSM to generate it so go to workflow and click on DOM so for source, source data so select dense cloud and point classes so make sure it is for all and click on OK So now generate auto mosaic. So go click on workflow and click on bold auto mosaic. So make sure for surface you, you selected QM, then click on OK. So double click on auto mosaic to show it on the model pane. Then creating a mesh surface. So to create in 3D mesh, so click on workflow and hit bold mesh. So for the source data, so select depth maps and the quality and face count for both select high or medium, which is depending the laptop memory. So you can select high or medium. And under advanced, so check calculate vertex colors. Then hit OK. So 
So once it finishes, go to the workspace and expand chunk one, then click on 3D model to view it. And for the last stage, we will see how to add texture to do 3D image to enhance the visual clarity. So to do that, so go to workflow and click on ball textures. For texture type, so select diffuse map and source data images, mapping mode, so select generic. And for advanced, so enable hole filling and enable costing filter. So then click on OK. So wait till the process finishes. So now all data are ready to export and to add them to to try software. So now we will see how to export your data. So export in Auto Mosaic. So click right click on the Auto Mosaic and click on Export Auto Mosaic. So here you have a multiple choice for exporting. You can export it as a JPEG or TIFF, game set for Google Earth, export Google Map tiles, export Jiu package, and more. So here we need TIFF format. So to export it in TIFF format, so click on export it on JPEG and here you will select to appropriate coordinate system and you round the pixel size and click and check split in blocks then here for background color you can select white or black then don't forget to, to check write word file and for TIFF compression so select select LZW and GP quality set it 99 and click on export so create a folder for auto mosaic so click create a new folder so we can rename it auto open it and give it a name for this TIFF So exporting DOM, so right click and click on export DOM. So you have also here multiple choice. So we need it as a TIFF format. So click on export TIFF. So you round to pixel size. And check split in blocks. Then don't, don't forget forget to to check or write word file and uncheck or write title titled tiff and generative overview so uncheck these boxes and click on export so let's create a new folder for that so let's rename it dom give it a name and click on save Then exporting the 3D model, so you can need it to visualize it in a Google Earth or or CAD software. So here creates a new folder 3D model. So let's give it a name also 3D. And here I want to 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 visualize it in in Google Earth. So let's click on Game Set file so and click on save so click on ok
and then export in dense cloud so right click and click on export dense cloud So here you have a multiple file format. So uh, let's select point class and click on save. So check split in blocks and click on OK. So now uh, open any GIS software. So here I have ArcMap or ArcGIS software. So let's open ArcMap. So click on add data button then navigate to the folder so let's start by dom data so select all images and click on add So now let's add auto mosaic photos or auto photo. So click again on add data, then navigate to photos folder and select all photo and click on add. So that's great. Thank you for watching and see you for next video about RG Soft Meta Shapes software. So in the next video, we will show how to calculate volume using RG Soft and how to use patch process to generate trace data. Thank you for watching.